Hello natural beauties, welcome to my channel. My name is Nat and today I have something a little bit different for my channel. It's also something relatively new for me. So I found myself in a really weird situation, a situation I've never been in in my entire life. And um, I ran out of pens, like here at the house, I completely had no pens, only pencils and markers. And so I went on Amazon to order some pens. And while I was there, I saw some fountain pens advertised. And a long time ago, I worked with a coworker who actually carried his own fountain pen. And I had uh, used it a couple of times just to see what the hype was about. And um, I did love it, but it just kind of left my mind. I never thought about it again. And when I needed pens this time, I was like, you know what, maybe I will treat myself to a fountain pen. And I did. So this was actually a couple of months ago. But what we are going to do today is we're going to do an unboxing. This is from Pen Chalet. And then I'm also going to show you what initially I bought or what I bought initially that kind of stroked this uh, interest. Fountain pens can be very expensive. They can go anywhere from like $10 to $500. They do have some with like 24 karat gold nibs. I'm not into that. I can't see myself ever spending over $100 for a fountain pen. But I do plan. I have been in love with planners and agendas since the sixth grade. When I got that first agenda, it really did blow my mind. And um, I've really been using planners ever since. And I also am that type of person. I like to write handwritten notes. I'll write a thank you note. I'll write letters. I'll send birthday cards and Christmas cards. So I do. Oh, and I also journal regularly. Well, I do memory journaling. So um, Mother's Day just passed. So I did do um, a journal entry on my Mother's Day this past year. So I do use my pens pretty frequently, which is probably how I got into the position where I completely ran out of pens. Now, nothing encourages me to spend money more than a small business. So this store, Kino Kanuya, is uh it is a chain but i want to say out of the entire us there may be like 10 stores and i happen to have one nearby me so while i was there i went ahead and picked some stuff up so i have these two fountain pens and um, for me i'm looking for um, a wide variety i'm looking for diversity so this one right here is twenty dollars this is the packaging that it came in and this is a Pilot Kakuno, and it is an extra fine nib. It was $20. They have different colors. I got the lavender, and I paired it with some a purple ink, which is a little unusual for me because I found myself wanting like a brown, golden, shimmery kind of ink. I know it sounds lame. That or like a dark um, blue, gray, like a navy kind of ink. I think that would be really pretty in like my, um, my planner or in my little journal that I use. But anyways, this was $20. And the ink, there are five cartridges, and these cost $4. And I really like this pen. And here is what it looks like. And this is extra fine. And with it being the cheaper of the two pens that I bought recently, I've really enjoyed this. And I also left it out and didn't touch it for I want to say like a good two weeks and when I picked it up it still wrote really really well now this is a more expensive pen this is a Lamy pen this is a really popular pen you can see that it has a window right there to show you um, how much ink you have I actually need to change this cartridge so I'll do that with you here but it's got this really nice almost like a large paper clip where you know you can clip this on your shirt or in your purse on your notebook whatever but this was a $40 pen and they do have one under it that is a $30 pen but they're plastic and I just liked how this looked better. It's got like that rose gold color to it. A little bit heavier, but it's not so heavy that I think that it's going to um, make my wrist hurt or anything like that. And this one is a medium nib. And I thought that this would be like my everyday pen. 
This one has a black ink in it and it's also a cartridge pen. Both of these are cartridge pens. Here is the uh, pack of cartridges that I bought. These are black. These cost $4.50. And when it comes to um, a cartridge pen, these are really just the easiest because you just get the refill and you just pop it in. So you can see where that's empty. So I'm gonna pull it out and then I'm going to use this in here and just pop it in. Let's see if we can hear it. Okay. And then just screw it back together and my pin is ready to go. Okay, I did not use this like um, all day, every day. And so there were times when I would leave it like this. And when I picked it up, I did have to get it going again, which really surprised me considering this was $40. And I didn't have to do that with this pilot pin, which was uh, $20. So still very good pins. There are cheaper options out there, but um, I have enjoyed them. And you can see I already used that one cartridge up. I mean, like I said, it's probably been about two months, but still. And then this one, you can see how much is in there. So I've definitely been getting some use um, on these bad boys. And then I have this extra one that came in the Lamy pen, but it's blue. And I do love a blue ink, but um, I really should have put that one in uh, just now, but I didn't. I forgot about it. And then I have another Pilot cartridge here, and this is just a regular black one. So those are the things that I bought that kind of sparked this interest. Let's see what I ended up getting from Pin Chalet. Does that look better? Yeah, that does look better. There you go, and you can see that purple better. But here is my package, and let's see what we ended up getting. So we got a coupon for a special offer. It comes with a spring organizing bundle with any $80 purchase. And then we got, okay, so I ordered another um, batch of the Pilot inks, but these are green. And so here they are, same as the purple, because I did order another one of these uh, same pins, but I think I ordered it in fine, because like I said, I'm looking for variety and diversity. So we have extra fine and medium, and then we have the purple, and now we have the green. Now this right here is what's called a converter, and this is for the Lamy pin. And what you do is you pretty much use it like a cartridge only I can put this in the pen and I can pull up ink into it so I can fill it up with any ink that I want and stick it in this pen and use it. So I bought that. This cost $7. This cost $5. And okay, so I got some ink and I told you, I don't know if it's because I'm old, <laughs> but I was really looking for something that was super shimmery and had like a gold or a brown color to it. So I got this ink. It was on sale. Let me see if I have my prices listed. No. Now this is a Diamine ink and it is Shimmertastic established in 1864. I believe this was on clearance for $15. It is 50 uh, cc's and it's cocoa shimmer. So here is the bottle and I'm going to show you the bottom. Look at that. So that is the shimmer that I was looking for. Let's shake it up. And this is a really popular brand of inks. And I really wanted to try this brand. And there is another brand called Ferris Wheel Press, I believe. And I want to check that one out too, but I just haven't yet. Now, at this same store where I got these two pins, they tend to have bottles of ink on clearance. So here is the other Pilot Kakuno um, pin that I ordered and it is completely clear. Let's open this and see what it looks like. Okay. 
And so here's how it comes. So that's where I got that extra pilot um, cartridge from. So I'll just add that to it. And, oh, so this is part of the reason why I got green because I thought that it would look really pretty inside of this clear pin right here. And here's what it looks like. And this one is a fine nib. So right here, you can see where it's got the F for fine. And then the lavender one has EF for extra fine. And so right here we have an extra fine, a fine, and then a medium. This is how it comes. And this is a Twisby Eco. And I want to say this was um, $50, maybe $52. I'm having trouble opening it. It's nice and secure. There we go. Oh, because there is a sticker on the side. That's why. So... Here it is, and it's got some instructions and diagrams, and look at how pretty that is. This is a cream color, and I believe this is a bold pen. And it comes with some tools there, so we can kind of take it apart and grease it and oil it up so it continues to work well. But here is the pen, and I know that it looks white, but it's a really soft nude. And then it has rose gold um, metal parts to it. Um, speaking of metal, all of these pens, oh, it's a twist top. All of these pens, uh, oh, this one is bronze, so that's probably why it was a little more expensive. But these are all metal. And so this one is different in that you you spin it here and it'll pull up the ink. So I guess we can do that together. And I just think that it's gorgeous. So, oh, that's also why I got a broad nib because this has shimmer and I don't want it to clog up my, my pen. I'm just going to twist this down and I'm going to put this in. There we go. And I'm not going to fill it all the way up because I do want to um, be able to use it. I'm going to use this packing slip to wipe it off. Ooh, look at that. Oh my goodness. Can you see the shimmer in that? So, let me move this and close it because I don't want to make a mess. I should have bought a napkin, but we'll use this to just wipe this off. Look at that. Can you see that? Do you see that shimmer? It's like a brown with a gold dusting oh my goodness it is gorgeous can you see it there wow let's see if it writes or how it writes especially on this Ooh. yeah it writes very nicely look at that sorry it's all going to be backwards i film on an old phone of mine this is a uh, test run. Look at that. Bold. Very, very bold. So you can see the difference in how that writes. Oh, I just love that. And let's go ahead and ink up this new pilot with the green. Here is this. And... I believe it goes this way. Oh, maybe not. Nope, so it's got to go this way. I'm just going to pop it in. Let's see if we can hear it. And look at that. You see how it just its coming up there?
Okay, so I tidied up a little bit. I primed everything. Now let's do some swatching. We're gonna go from our thinnest to our thickest, our boldest. We're gonna start with the Pilot. This is the extra fine one, and it is the Purple Pilot Cartridge Ink. And let's see how this writes. Oh, and this is just a sketch pad that I had, had around. This is a test. Now this has a little bit of drag on this paper, but it could be because it's a sketch pad and not like just regular paper. that one. Now this is the new Pilot uh, Kakuno pen and this is in fine. It is the green Pilot ink which I got with this pin chalet haul. Let's try this one. I feel like you can definitely see the difference in um, the width of how these write. There's a gnat in here and it's driving me nuts. Um, I think if you like a thicker line that the fine one would be good because it is pretty thick. And it does also depend on how like hard you push or how long you, um, look at that, can y'all see the difference already? Extra fine and then a fine. Now let's move on to the medium. This is the Lamy AL because it's made out of aluminum and it has the Lamy cartridges in it and these are just, uh, it's a black ink. And I hope it's primed already. Oh, not quite. Well, oh, a little draw. still skipping a little bit. Yeah, so you can see how this one um, kind of settled a little bit. I may have to clean it a little bit, um, but usually once I get it going, then we're good. But still, this should work. And then lastly, we have the pen that I was so excited for, the brand. This is Twisby Eco. It is in their cream color, and um, you can see some of the shimmer um, sitting there. I don't know. Let me roll it. I don't want to shake it because I don't want it to splash on the inside. Now this is a bold pin, uh, what is that? A bold nib, that's what, it, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, see, so shaking it would have been a bad idea. I'll clean that out with some alcohol. And this is Twisby. Ooh, look at how juicy it is. Why can't I think of what these things are called? Um, 
Okay, so I had to check on my dog. Seemed like he was having a little bit of a cough, but I can definitely tell the difference between this pen and the others. It just writes so much smoother. The nib is um, bold, and so I think that makes a difference, but um, otherwise it is just gorgeous. And let me show you the differences. So extra fine, fine. This is medium, you can't really see that one very well, but then look at this one, the bold one. And can you see the shimmer in there? I hope you can because it's just gorgeous. And this is exactly the kind of ink that I was looking for. So I'm so very happy with this because I also use inks, I actually pulled this. I also use inks like for art, but I don't think that these inks um, would be good for like pens. These are alcohol inks and um, they're just a little bit different. Let me just show you like a drop. And so you can see these, you can dilute them with alcohol. You can use them to make like a marble um, design. And so I'll use these like in my planner as I decorate for the month or in my memory keeper. See, so those are a little bit different, but I wouldn't use those in my actual um in my actual pins because I just don't want to risk the nibs. And um, this is some of the stuff that, and you can see I have alcohol right here. So like that I can use it to kind of, you know, dilute it or whatever. But um, so that is everything that I have with this pin chalet haul. I do have an order coming from Timu with some cheaper pins. I think they're all under 20 bucks plus some, uh, I wouldn't say alcohol inks, but plus some fountain pen inks that I got for under $5. So if you're interested in this or if you're interested in me doing an Amazon haul, Amazon haul, let me know and I will definitely do that. Thank you all for being here. Just know that I am sending you positivity and I hope that you're doing what you love. I will talk to you next time. Bye, y'all.